Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's workout is going to help you to get a round booty and nice toned sculpted abs. There is no jumping for this workout and equipment is optional. If you're a beginner, this is going to be a great exercise to get you going and if you're advanced, this is still a really good exercise anyways. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on to exercise number one. Today's workout is going to be done in one set, 40 seconds on and 8 seconds off, so it goes pretty quick. First up, we have circle crunch, so you're going to be laying flat on your back, you're going to bring your legs up into a 90 degree angle, then you're going to take your abs, crunch up slightly, take your arms, touch your hands by wrapping them around the back of your thighs, come back down and then keep repeating that. Next we have flat bugs. We're going to stay in this exact same position. Only difference is instead of crunching up, we're going to take one leg, bring it straight out in front of us while taking our opposite arm and bringing it straight out behind us simultaneously and then crunching them back together and then doing that with the other leg and other arm. Also make sure your back is straight and core is engaged. You should be feeling this on the entirety of your core. Thirdly, we have elevated hip thrusts. So you're going to stay laying flat on your back. This time, you're going to dig your heels into the ground, lift the tips of your toes up, and thrust upwards, squeezing your glutes at the top. Make sure your legs don't buckle out when you thrust up, and if you're doing this correctly, you're really going to be feeling this in your upper glutes. Next we have booty taps, so you're going to lay flat on your stomach, lift your hips off of the ground slightly, then you're going to take your legs, spread them out, and then bring them back to center. Keeping your hips off the ground slightly is going to get maximum glute engagement, so you're going to really be feeling this in your upper glutes and your side glutes, and no strain should be on your lower back if you're doing this correctly. Next up, we have laying rainbow. Stay in that exact same position. And you're gonna take your legs, spread them out with your hips up slightly. Only difference is you're gonna take these and loop them to the center instead of just bringing them right to center. Sixthly, we have spider planks. So you're going to get in a regular plank position, and then you're going to take your leg, scale it up to your elbow, bring it back down, and then do the same with the other side. You should really be feeling this in your oblique line and your upper abs, as well as a little bit of strain in your shoulders. Watch them. 
Next, we have wood chops. So you're gonna lay flat on your back. You're going to take your core, lift yourself up while taking one leg and crunching it to you. And then you're gonna take both of your arms, wrap them around that leg, and then come back to the ground. You wanna make sure your back and core is engaged the entire time, even as you descend down. And then we're just gonna keep alternating between legs. You should really be feeling this in your upper abs. Next we have rainbow leg lifts. So you're gonna get on all fours and then you're going to take one leg, bring it out to the side, loop it to the opposite side and then loop it back. You should be keeping your core straight and engaged and you should really be feeling this in your upper and side glutes. We're gonna be doing this individually on both sides. We used to be solid, not falling apart. Things never not okay when you were mine. You used to be honest, not pulling my heart. Strengths every other day you change your mind. Cause when you're high, you call Next we have plank tap, so get in a regular plank position, then you're gonna take one leg, loop it up and out to the side, and then bring it back to center, and then do the same with the other leg. You should be feeling this in the entirety of your core and your upper glutes. me running in a circle. I'm just trying to find my way back to you. What happened to us? I'm in a circle. Back where I started, I'm stuck. I like blue. You keep me on the Next, we have side leg planks. Stay in the exact same position, but the only difference is pull it out to the side and bring it back to center while keeping your leg in the air the entire time. You should really be feeling this in your oblique line and upper abs, as well as your side booty. Some kind of little toy for you to wind up when you're lying in bed and feeling lonely. I'm tired of being deployed like all I am to use a pet. You think you own me? I'm nothing but a boy for you to wind up when you want to pretend to get to know me. Next up, we kind of have a little break here. We have Supermans. You're gonna lay flat on your stomach. Then you're going to take your arms and legs, simultaneously bring them up, kind of like you're doing a reverse U, squeeze, and then come back down to center. You should be feeling this in your shoulder, your back, and your upper glutes if you're doing this correctly. Our third 
15th exercise are side leg lifts. So you're gonna be laying flat on one side, then you're going to take your leg, lift up, and then bring it back down pretty quickly. If you're doing this correctly, you're gonna feel this in your upper and side glutes, and there will be no strain on your lower back. Make sure your core is engaged as well, and we're gonna be doing this individually on both sides. Close your eyes. And lastly, we have side leg circles. You're gonna do the exact same thing, only difference is when you lift your leg up, you're gonna circle it backwards and keep it up the whole time as you circle it. You wanna make sure that your core is engaged so the engagement is primarily on your glutes and your side booty and no strain on your lower back. Close your eyes. And that's the workout. I'm so proud of you for finishing today's workout and I know that you will get good results if you are consistent and eating healthy. With that being said though, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see more workout videos. But thank you so much for watching and until next time, wow, have a beautiful day.